Hey fellow screw-ups, and welcome! Today I'm going to be doing a quick update video uh, to cover off some of the content that came out in the recent screw-up uh, patch 0 0.4. Uh, came out on October 18th, 2021. If you're new to the channel, welcome, and thank you very much for stopping by. If you are returning, then of course thank you so much. I appreciate all the support, and you coming back. So without further ado, let's jump into today's video. So if you're not familiar with the game of Screw Up, it came out back in July of this year and was created by 199 Cent Studio. It debuted on Steam for a uh, whopping $1.99 American. Uh, basically you wash up on the shores of an unknown island and take on the role of having to be a survivor, uh, craft yourself a base, take on hordes of, of skeletons, uh, and basically look around, uh, explore the mysteries that the island has to offer. Uh, since then, uh, since version 0 0.4, uh, the game has actually essentially all, almost become an entirely new game uh, with a much larger map, a whole new island, a bunch of new enemies, new things to craft, new materials to find, uh, and so much more. So, And that's where we're going to break down and take a look at the specific things that this new version has to offer. Alright, so first off, we're going to be looking at the new island that 0.4 has in store for us. So this new island, uh, it has a, a landmass that totals almost at least 10 times larger than the previous version that we're used to. And it's made up of a whole bunch of smaller islands within this larger island. Uh, and it has a lot for you to explore. So far, I've had the pleasure of coming across the coral and desert biomes. Uh, <laughs> all from a distance, though, uh, just because of the new enemies that are in there uh, that are much tougher. I had to kind of stick to mostly the grassland, a little bit of the mountains so far. Uh, and you'll see why. Uh, in, my, in my first episode for playing the game that I hope to have out right quick. Uh, but each biome has new enemies to it, which I'm going to cover off here shortly, uh, as well as uh, they also have a bunch of new natural resources that are unique to those biomes, uh, including trees and ores and stuff like that, which I'm going to cover off here next. So new resources. So 0 0.4 has kind of revamped the way that the resources are worked now. Uh, and in terms of trees and ores specifically, they have definitely grown. So if you're familiar with the previous versions, you'll know that there was basically wood and stone. Uh, you had to go to the quarry in order to pick up things like iron and smelt it. Uh, and it was kind of confined to specific spaces. Well, now it's grown into different types of wood. Uh, which you have to farm from different types of trees. So for instance, uh, starting off, I've already found that palm trees will drop you softwood. Uh, your other kind of normal looking trees will drop you just plain old regular wood. There's also the introduction of hardwood, ironwood, and crystal wood as well too. Now with those, if you were used to crafting in the previous version, uh, you would take your wood and you would be able to basically craft yourself your building pieces for your house. Well, it's gone one step further now where you actually have to take uh, said wood, put it into the crafting station and create it into wood planks. And then your wood planks you then take and use in order to build your structures. Uh, as well as wood, there's the introduction of ores uh, that are around the islands as well too. So, uh, so when you're running around exploring, you've got to keep an eye out and you'll come across the different types of ore nodes. I know that there is iron and gold as well as some others. Alright, so now moving on to the new enemy types. So if you played the previous version, uh, basically you found yourself fighting a whole lot of skeletons. Uh, this new version, however, 0.4, finds you f basically fighting more than 10 new types of enemies that can be found scattered across the islands. Uh, so far, I have found myself coming across fairies, uh, along with some crazy plant-like creatures. They sort of reminded me of the uh, piranha plants from Mario. I wanted to bite my face off. Uh, I managed to find that I was uh, seeing some pretty crazy cool looking creatures off in the distance that uh, I definitely need to be prepared for as the idea is is that the deeper that you go into uh, this new set of islands the harder that the monsters will be when you get in there. 
And why you want to be prepared and why that's important is because along with the new enemies comes a whole new revamp for the death penalty as well too. Meaning that uh, when you die you actually lose experience points. Kind of similar to a little bit of a playbook uh, from Valheim. So you kind of want to stay alive as much as possible. So you don't end up losing valuable experience points that you have fought to, to gain. Uh, I mean, at this point, I'm kind of missing my coconuts. I I would love to take... Uh, wow, wow, what? A wave fairy? Oh, God. Ow, you actually are... Oh, my gosh, you're going to kill me. Ugh. I was, I was not expecting that. All right. You're screwed. <laughs> okay, well, we just learned. Uh, don't mess with a wave fairy. So along with the new enemies also comes new bosses. So these new boss encounters, uh, they will be definitely a lot harder than your regular enemies. Uh, and you want to definitely be prepared for those as well too, being that you want to get yourself some uh, better prepared, uh, some good weapons and armors before you head out and go and take them on. Uh, now, by finding and taking down one of these new bosses, uh, it actually earns you some new crafting materials for some very powerful uh, new weapons and armors within the game. Uh, and with the new boss monsters also comes a new character progression as well too. Uh, which actually now, uh, like before, as you kill things, as you build, as you do stuff within the world of screw up, you actually gain experience. And your experience builds your level like an RPG. Uh, you 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 progress up from level 1 and it's now capped in 0.4 to a level of 30. Uh, my understanding is is that that cap will raise a little later on as the game further progresses uh, and every level that you get you get two stat points to be able to put into your attribute levels uh, and there's also a new attribute that has been introduced which is called handicraft and it actually increases your character efficiency to gather resources within the world of screw up. All right, and so with some of the other changes that you've seen so far within this new version, uh, also comes a different range of weapons. So there's a bunch of melee weapons that are in the game already. Uh, I haven't seen if exactly full list or roster as to what all is new, uh, but I assume that there would be some new weapons that are in there. Uh, but there's also a whole bunch of new long-range weapons as well, too, that you can add to your arsenal. Uh, everything from a small pistol all the way up to a grenade launcher. And I mean, <laughs> who doesn't want a grenade launcher in their arsenal, right? Alright, so lastly, I just wanted to touch on the price point of the game. So I know earlier I'd mentioned that it debuted at $1.99 American on Steam. Uh, I think after a lot of careful consideration and just to reflect the increasing amount of content that is coming out with this new version, uh, the game has gone up some and it looks like it's roughly about $5 American now, so not a drastic increase, uh, just a couple of dollars and I don't think it's really a huge break the bank amount. Uh, now, that being said, if you already own the game, if you're a previous player uh, who bought the game already, then the update for this 0.4 is free, and it'll just be updated in your Steam. Uh, and with that, well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this is just a quick update video just to cover off a few of the new features for 0.4. Uh, and I know that there's a lot more content within the game. It's a very, very active and booming uh, community that developers have actually set up in Discord uh, that you can join and you can ask a ton of questions. They're super helpful there. Uh, lots, of, lots of good community and people there to talk to and bounce ideas with. Um, but with that, I'm going to continue to play the game. I'm going to continue my Let's Play series, so please be on the lookout for that. Uh, and if you're playing the game, let me know in the comments down below what you think so far, what you think of the new changes. Do you like them better than the old version? Are you going to like the new version so far uh, better? And uh, with that, guys, I hope you have an awesome day, and we'll see you guys soon in the next video.